What's up, guys? Welcome back to After the Storm. Welcome back to the NHL 06 Dynasty Mode Series. Episode 26 already. We are more than past the quarter point of the season. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. I started off a little rough, but uh, we've really regained our footing. We made that big trade and, you know, bring in Berard, bring in Denis. It's been pretty solid so far. We've come off a week break where... Uh, honestly, a lot of our guys got rest. We haven't made really any changes to our lineup other than the fact that Doobie West got acquired in that big trade with the Columbus Blue Jackets. He is making his debut on the third pairing alongside Brian Pache. Denise staying in the net for this one, of course, as we will jump into our preview uh, here in a moment. It's a very exciting times in Ottawa as we continue pushing to get ourselves up the standings firmly in our division again our division is tight let's actually just go real quick look at the standings so look at this northeast division fourth to first is a four point gap and as we can see boston has played five more games than us so if we can use that advantage of that again every team in the division has played more games than us but if we can use these games in hand that we've got four on toronto five on boston two on montreal if we can use these and get our points big very very big and actually the biggest one will probably be if we can manage to get these points directly against these teams boston we've done very well this season so far montreal we've struggled with a little bit buffalo has not been overly competitive they're still a pretty solid team but they just haven't been as good as buffalo usually is um in toronto i think we've kind of split so far in the season series nevertheless we have a matchup against the Vancouver Canucks and all Canadian matchup as we start our Western Conference road swing. We're playing Vancouver, Calgary, Colorado, Dallas, I believe, on this road swing. So a four-game road trip all against the Western Conference. Very exciting. We're going to see some really fresh new faces, which is awesome. No repeats. Actually, we're coming off the LA game as well. So that's, even though we played it at home, uh, this is five consecutive Western Conference teams that we're playing against. So very interesting portion of our schedule here. But before we preview this matchup, as always, just a reminder, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you can get these videos as soon as they upload to the channel. All right, so in previewing our matchup here, we're a very even. This is a very even sort of game uh, between our squads here. Vancouver, again, the overalls are pretty much similar. We have a decent advantage in goaltending. But other than that, it's a very close contest. Both teams are rated 93. Again, we, we have been scoring ad nauseum. A wicked pace lately for our squad. So that's been really awesome to see. Uh, but we're, we're still looking to just push ourselves up the standings. Again, we're sitting 7th in the conference, 4th in our division. So, I mean, do the math there. We're 11th in the NHL and we're 7th in our conference. It means the Eastern Conference is a beast to start this season. Our goaltending matchup in this one, Mark Denis against Dan Cluche. Both goalies, three stars across the board. Denis obviously a 95 even on the road. He was a 98 in that other game against uh, LA at home. Getting his second consecutive start. Uh, Hashik is certainly going to take the Calgary game in our next episode. They are now tied with Florida for first in the NHL. Uh, but Cluche is certainly no slouch. A very good goaltender at this point. Man, this is just a... This, this is one of the first matchups of the season i genuinely have no idea what to expect vancouver is an overpowered offense they are solid on defense and they are solid in net i think this is going to be a lot different than our la game that we just played in our last episode this is going to be a really interesting one and lastly we did the team reports in the preview of this game in our last episode however uh vancouver is coming off a 3-2 win against the boston bruins in their last game and they also have three injuries bergevin uh, Matt Cook and Fedor Fedorov are out for this one. So they are missing some depth pieces. However, the concern has never been with their depth. Uh, it, it's certainly about the, their high-powered star players. All right, guys, so let's not wait around any longer. Let's go ahead and get into this big midseason matchup against the Vancouver Canucks. GM place now Rogers Arena. Look at these beautiful old jerseys, Bertuzzi, 
Olin Nasland. Mark, Denis, Brandon. Oh, man, I am. Brandon Morrison, an absolute killer. At this time, very good. Mark, Denis, looking to improve on his last game. Not too bad, that's for sure. Not too, too bad in their last game, but looking to improve for sure. But this is going to be a big, big matchup here. Spets is in. Volchenkov is way up in this play. There's Volchenkov. Looking for something there. Oh, and Bertuzzi, a big shot there. Captain Alfredson coming off a four-point game in the last one against L.A. He had a night. Top line had a night. Good stuff by Volchenkov. Standing up Bertuzzi and then getting that block. There's Heatley. Heatley there. Shot. There's Kluche. Big save. There's Sammy Salo too. Like this is uh, this is certainly a no slouches on this team, man. They are a good squad. Sedins are also on the team. I'm not sure how good they are at this point, but they are also here. Uh-oh. Allen in. I mean, I don't think we're going to be worrying about Brian Allen pulling out a wicked deke on a breakaway, but he is still a good defender. Have a lot for checking. Looks like we're in between a change here. Doobie Westcott making his debut. Pass across to Latowski from Lindros. There's Doobie Westcott. And Westcott, the jump. Oh, man, the feet working for Westcott there. Poche with a nice block. Reed right there. There's another player that... Uh, I'm not sure if it's, if it's Brandon Reed. Um, I don't think he did much in the, in the real NHL. Uh, but in these games, he was a wickedly fast player. Young, too. Zlatowski with a nice chance. Slow-moving first period. I think uh, that's been one aspect of Vancouver so far. Is not the quickest team in the league, but they uh, are kind of methodical. But there's, there's this Reed guy. Shot wide off the net as the... Top line is coming back out for Vancouver. Nice move by McCam and shot on. Good save by Kluche. Jovanovski. Oh, great play there by Volchegov. And here's Alfredson. Hooked. No call. Spezza off the feed from Heatley. Here's Heatley again. Shot. Mad scramble in front. Looks like it got blocked. He's dumping it in. Down low. Great save by Denny. And Alfredson's going to carry away. Shot on. Great save by Kluche off the breakaway. So we get some hectic play toward the end of the period. But both goalies standing tall so far. Keeping this one scoreless as we head to the second. Low shooting in that first period, 7-4 shots. Spezza. Finds Alfredson down low to Keatley. Good chance. Kluche's been solid so far. Got to give him that. Heatley again, nice shot. His unbelievable scoring pace has just been, it's been unmatched, I'm sure, so far in the league. Morrison, shot, good save by Denis. There's a bad change on the long change by the Canucks. Doesn't cost them. Bondra in, good chances. 
Back to the point, and Volchekov on the one-timer misses it, and Sadin's out. Sadin shot scores. The future captain of the Canucks, Henrik. And a tough turnover at the line is what leads to that goal, and that's all it takes for Vancouver to just get out like that, get that goal. There's Reed, this speedster, into the corner. Reed there, big save. Ione. Baumgartner. I think that's what Vancouver so far has done really well. They just kind of touch. The defense just will touch a little bit. That's tough as Reed, Brandon Reed, sneaks in the back as a, maybe a bit of a bad pinch there from Brian Burrard. Tough start to the second period here, but we'll get her going here, hopefully. The Lindros line comes out. Turn and fired by... That looked like it was Westcott pinching up in the play. It's Leclerc. Shot on. That's an easy save for Kluche. Over to Litowski. Looks like it hit the post. Turned over. Whoever this is has just been impossible to get off the puck. Is it Linden? Oh my goodness. Shakes off three hits. Yeah, it is Trevor Linden. <laughs> Shaking off three checks there. And that is probably going to go for an icing. Nope. Icing waved off as we look to get something generated here in the second. Giving up two goals here. Down low and a hook not called. And back to the point as Berard is picked off against Bertuzzi. And again, for the second time, a play back to the point. He's going to wind up in the back of our net. Because the mistakes have not been able to. I haven't been able to get through those mistakes without it ending up in the back of our net so far this game. Here's Spezza. A penalty upcoming. Back to Alfredson. Heatley. Oh my goodness. Dan Kluche is all over it. We are going to get a power play out of this, but my goodness. Dan Kluche with an unbelievable sequence. Kluche wanting a word with the official over the penalty call. But this is an opportunity for us to just get ourselves back into this game. There's a chance. Oh, and Heatley on the doorstep. Heatley on the doorstep. Couldn't get it past Kluche. Shot by Heatley there. The so change is on. That is not offside. <laughs> sure. Pretty sure the touch-up rule was implemented this season, so that's not really an offside, but... Spezza winning the draw. Over to Leclerc. Oh, no, shot. Spezza. And he gets hooked again. No calls. There's the Claire. Shot on. Big save again as Kluche has been incredible. Shot on. Big save by Denis there. He needed to make that one. And there is a penalty. So a short five on three upcoming here is Olin, their biggest penalty killer, certainly coming off the ice.
So 32 seconds, man. This is a just an unbelievable opportunity to get ourselves back into this game. Got to take advantage of it. Morrison scores a five on three shorthanded. That's got to be a dagger in this game. This That is an embarrassing effort from that power play unit. You cannot allow a five-on-three shorthanded goal. And for Mark Denis, you got to stop one puck. He has been awful in this game. I didn't want to throw blame on him, but he has yet to stop a puck. Over to Lindros. Big save again, Kluche. 4 nothing Vancouver. A downright awful game. I don't know if I want to retract that stuff on... On, uh... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do with that, man. I don't know. Denise, he faced breakaway after breakaway. It's just unbelievable, this game. Man. This has been... Every time there's been an opportunity to collapse, there is a collapse. There's Heatley again stopped. Unbelievable. Dan Kluche again. Got to say, probably a, just an incredibly frustrating night. A penalty upcoming as Vancouver has just simply continued their march to the penalty box, and we can't do anything about it. We are moving our feet, but we got to keep pressing. And boy, oh boy, do we need at least a goal before we head to this third period. It's another five on three. Claire shot, have lot. Back in front again. Turned over. Back in front, there's the Claire. Finally striking on the power play. Again, this period still has 27 seconds left. It'll be slowed down due to the power play. Luce is not invincible this game, but I I hazard to see the shots coming out of this period because I don't think it's going to be particularly close. Dross wins that one straight ahead. Shot there. It looked like maybe tipped by Heatley. Back behind the net, and that's going to do it for the second. A five-on-three shorthanded goal for Brendan Morrison. And a forgettable night for Mark Denis. Forgettable night overall so far. 4-1 as we head to the third. We'll have a power play to start. But this one might be in the books. Shots are 29-14 in our favor as we head to this period four goals on 14 shots for mark denis in this one seven on 39 so far for him there's a nice pass and another great two pad stack shot by heatley I mean, this this Vancouver team is just sometimes impossible to check off the puck. Shot Heatley. A wraparound chance, and Kluche's got that one. Strange. A very strange game here. Chance there, my goodness. Phillips wide of the net. Havlat, chance scores. Spezza on the power play. It's 4-2. We're certainly not dead in this game just yet, but... It's going to take a wicked effort here to come back. Tie this one up. 
Lots of time to go, though. Vancouver has been taking lots of penalties. Smolinski, backhander on. Big save again by... Cor uh, by I don't know. <laughs> again. <laughs> I don't know who, what name I was going with there, but... Kluche. Chance Bondra. Big save again. Kluche just continues to... Oh, man. Bad break down there. Chance. There's a save for Denis. Okay, there we go. A strip in the neutral zone. Chance there for Havlat. And now, I mean, at the very least, it's going to slow the clock. Well, Leclerc is going to take the elbowing penalty. And we will have to push on this penalty kill to try and get a goal. And that's the dagger. I mean, they walk down like they own the place. Redden completely misses his check, and that's... Again, our, power, our penalty kill is so bad. So very bad. It's We gotta make some changes to that unit. I mean, okay, Morrison. Jesus Christ. Settle down. So 5-2, we battled, but I mean, I cannot imagine a scenario in which we actually get back into this one fully unless, I mean, unless Vancouver just starts their parade of the penalty box again. But Kluche, an incredible goaltending performance from him. On the other end, we did not get a good goaltending performance from Mark Denis. We've barely seen Doovie Westcott just due to the special teams of this game. And, uh, all right. Another penalty. This has just been, uh... I think we talked about playing this one a little bit tighter than the LA game, and I think we did the almost the complete opposite. Our defense just simply wasn't there. They did not make this game even remotely easy on... on Mark at the other end, and this is the result. I mean, they're just picking us off in the neutral zone now. But yeah, I think this has got, there's got to be a bit of a refocus for our defense. we got to force these shots out wide. Good chance there. But again, I mean, like, the, the Vancouver players, they're just on us. Simply just... Pick and plays off. There's a good block by Phillips. Again, I think if we were playing more or less like that, we like to control the pace and maybe make it a little bit more run and gun than most games. But sometimes that just simply doesn't work. Like, again, look at this. Just, again, every time they're back. They're back. Their forwards are coming back to pick these plays off. And we don't... Not going to get really great A opportunities here down the stretch as a result because they're just collapsing really well. They're covering up really well. A good chance there. And Kluche is just going to brush that one aside. We had probably been playing the way we've defensively played the last, you know, 
handful of minutes here, I think we would have had a real shot in this game. Really would have. Nevertheless, sometimes you just lose. And that's okay. But uh, we certainly wanted a little bit better heading into the Calgary game. And uh, we just did not get that. 6-2 blowout was never particularly close. Down 4-0 at one point. Entered the third at 4-1. So, again, lessons to be learned out of this game as we jump out. And we'll preview our next matchup against the Calgary Flames. So yeah, coming out of that one, that's a disappointing effort. Um, again, we talked pretty extensively in the opener that we were going to have to play them tight. We were going to have to be pretty good defensively in order to beat this team, keep that top line at bay, and that top line ran our show from start to finish. The five-on-three shorthanded goal against was pretty much the, the, the backbreaker in that one. Mark Denny did not have a good game, but we did not make it easy on Mark. That's a big aspect of this. Every single goal was directly in front of the net. That's got to be our focus here. We got to make sure that we're just moving pucks to the outside. Make them earn it, basically. Let's not give up anything easy. We got Alfredson and Redden now on a cold streak heading into Calgary. That's not good. Hashik is going to come back into the net, though. But I think that's a concerted effort we need to make. Change our structure, change our gameplay just that little bit to make sure those plays are now getting moved to the outside, making it far less easy to just get to the front of the net for these teams. So obviously, two, a tough start for Mark Denny. Two games, he does get the win in the first game against LA, but they were pretty obviously outmatched in that game. The Kings were, and we just ran up the score. But even then, it was three goals on 25 shots, not the greatest. And in that game, I think it was... I don't even really know what to say on that one. Like just, just taking a look here at this. We'll go, we'll go look at, uh, yeah, Denis. Yeah, it's not going to show his his stats in Ottawa per se, but again, he let in six. That's nine goals, so just not good. Um, we didn't play well in front of him at all. And we got to be much better. We, that That's disrespectful to Mark Denis. In all honesty, that is <laughs> disrespectful to treat a goalie like that who's just coming into your team. So uh, we got to be better in front of him, and we got to be better in front of Dom as well. Even though Dom's, Dom's stats are pretty damn good, we got to be better in front of Dom as well. So um, this next episode is, is going to be a big one in terms of, you know, just trying to play a little bit better in front of these guys and, and make their lives easier. So uh, let's go ahead and preview our next matchup against the Calgary Flames. So Calgary now sitting second in the NHL. Last I checked, they were tied with Florida at 45 points. Maybe Florida's up now. Big one. Obviously, take a look at their goals against 2.1. That is big. Mika Kiprasov, I'm assuming, coming through huge for them. But this is the Western Conference leader. On our side, we're still sitting 7th uh, in the conference, thankfully 4th in our division. Again, it's going to be another very tight matchup. We have the uh, the advantage everywhere really in this one but goaltending. But we got to play way better in front of our goaltenders, and that is evidenced by that 3.08 goals against. I don't know how many more games we can, we can play at that pace and still win them, right? So all about adjustments through the season, right? Getting ourselves prepped for playoff time. And this is another big test for us because we got to figure out our defense a little bit more here. Got to figure out our strategies a little bit more and continue playing well. In our goaltending matchup, Hashik, low right, five hole, two stars on those ones. Other than that, three stars across the board and three stars across the board for Kiprasov, who's a 98. Again, one of the best goaltenders in hockey at this time, Mika Kiprasov. So this will be interesting. Again, we're running into... Kluche, who is a pretty good goaltender, who really stood on his head in the last game, and now we've got a really good goaltender 
an elite goaltender to go up against in our next one. So Calgary actually coming off a loss in their last game to the New Jersey Devils. They've been almost perfect at home, though. 11-2, 0-1. Unbelievable. On the road, they've been great as well. And they're just missing one player of their lineup, Jordan Leopold. An abdominal strain out till January 16th. So, again, more, at least at least one of their defensemen is missing. So, again, I but we just played Vancouver and I had three of their players missing. So, we're not going to put too much stock into that. We obviously got to be better. Anyways, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode number 26 in the books. A tough 6-2 loss to the Vancouver Canucks on the road as we begin this road trip. Got to be better. Simple as that. It starts with this huge matchup against one of the top teams in the league in the Calgary Flames. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hit like below if you liked today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And hit the notification bell so you get notifications as soon as these videos upload. And as always, guys... Catch you on the next one.